Okay, welcome back. And our guest is um, <clears throat> Alaji Yakubu Ahmed. He's the Commissioner for Information and Culture in Kebbi State. And we spent the first half of the program um, uh, really, you know, looking at um, sort of achievements in the area, you know, of no matter how incremental, in the area of our security, it's, it's getting better and better. Um, Alaji, uh, all throughout the first half, before we even go into any other area, I noticed we didn't talk about... Um, and maybe that's because it doesn't exist, uh, uh, cattle herders farming clashes. Uh, is Kebi fortunate in that regard that that's not a really high point in terms of this challenge that we have? It's all about criminals and bandits. Yeah, it's not, it's not as if Kebi is free totally of it. No, but then there are pockets of it here and there. But we have a system, communal living style, that takes care of that. As soon as there is an element of it, the, the natural leadership in the affected areas take it over and deal with it there and there. And uh, in most cases, it doesn't even have to end up in courts. We have uh, a system that we live in in KBC where natural uh, traditional leaders have, 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 have certain uh, responsibilities to make sure that society lives in harmony with, with each other. We, we have no doubt about that here and there. But as I said, it's dealt with promptly and inspect the okay. way takes, takes uh, yes. Okay. So, so far, so good. Matters are pretty much uh, well in hand. Now, uh, yeah, but what bothers us, what, what bothers us most is this, this kidnapping. And, and I think it's a world phenomenon, a world problem. Just that we everybody's trying to find a way to Google this out of it. Okay. Um, okay, before we go on, on, Christopher has called in from Wari. Uh, good morning, Christopher. You had a question for the Commissioner, Yakubu uh, Ahmed. Okay, good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, this is Comrade Christopher, Tinibu Shetima for Good Governors, uh, Data State Coordinator. Okay. Glad uh, to have you. Now, I want to sincerely thank uh, you and uh, your entire team for bringing in uh, the Honorable from KB State, Honorable. Yakubu, from Kabi State. Thank you. You see, this is what Nigerians have become only for. When you have people that are intellectuals, people who can identify issues as at when due. It's not because a problem, if a problem you identify, it is when you have solution to that problem. You see, thank God uh, the, uh, the information, uh, Commission of Information in Kabi, we appreciate the governor because as it is now, when the citizen of that state able to get the information they want at their disposal, security of a thing is all about information. When you have proper information, I think the governor himself will be able to know exactly what to do concerning the security of the nation. For instance, you see now, like the items he at, I, 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 I atomize, he measures some key areas in the state which they are already identified that give you their challenges. This is what we are looking for. When we have a governor able to determine, detect a man, a gentleman like this, then the less it's, 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 it's assured for him to carry out the day-to-day -day business of the state. That is one thing Nigerians, even the former president we have in this country, they have been passing, uh, passing through. You see a governor or a president sitting down, think that money alone can solve problem. Money alone cannot solve problem. You see, there's an certain issue. When you don't know your citizen, you don't know the occupants of your state, you cannot identify them. We don't know who is coming in, who is going out. You find it difficult to cater any kind of insecurity in that state. Everywhere you see in Nigeria, you see agents everywhere. Agents, they don't even know these people they are bringing to your apartment. It's just because of the money they want. They don't bring people in. So I thank the uh, Honorable Commissioner of Information in Kabi State, Honorable uh, Yakubu. We want to thank you because you start for good governors. That is what we are, we are expecting from you, and we know you are going to deliver in Kabi State. May God bless you and bless Kabi State and bless Nigeria. Thank you very much. Oh, well, thank you very much, uh, Comrade Christopher, uh, for calling in. So, I want, to, I want to respond clearly on this. You see, are you with me? Hello? Uh, well, hello. Uh, okay, I was going to okay, say, I was going to say that um, that caller, you know, is like kudos to Dr. Nasir Idris and uh, your very I just want to, I just want to ask something on that. You see. Our governor happens to be different because he was born, bred, and battered in Kebbi. All his life, he has never moved out of Kebbi. He, 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 he has 
integrated himself in the society because he's one of them. He, even before he became the governor, you know, he was at one time national president of the Nigerian Union of Teachers. He was a labor leader, a teacher, he's still a labor leader, a comrade. So even before he became governor in the neighborhood where he lives, uh, he has a history of helping people out, showing compassion, dealing with their immediate problems. So when he became governor, and that was one of the reasons why he was massively elected into office. It, he came on, into office on the crest of his personal performance and commitment to the welfare of the people of Kenya State, even before he became governor. So he's on, on familiar turf. He has always been on, uh, on the, uh, I mean, he has always been around to, to I mean, because he has been part of the uh, parcel of the people of Kenya State. So, and one of the reasons why when a governor like him becomes governor, when a person like him becomes governor, he automatically uh, gets integrated in the society and he will continue now with more powers and more responsibilities and more resources at disposal. He now widen his uh, areas of assistance to people. And that's why it's like he's achieving what he's achieving already. Indeed. So it was quite fitting that uh, Comrade uh, uh, Christopher was handing Dr. Nasir Idris, uh, Governor of uh, Kebi State, his flowers. And indeed, you're also part of it. Uh, you, you being an information professional as well, uh, again, uh, Christopher enjoyed uh, that particular aspect um, uh, of it. Now, as I was saying, I, I think we can't have you and um, you, you being an information Oh, I beg your pardon. We also have another caller, um, Mazi Okoroafo in Arochuku. Uh, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Sayeri. Good morning, my brother. Good morning, good morning, Nigeria. Yes. And congratulations to KD State Governor and the, my brother. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to find out from, you see, KD State at least noted for the best quality rice in this country. When I'm my colleague, when you talk about Uncle Ben's rice, they have it in KD State. Now, I want to find out, my brother. We are told that uh, if you check statistics, that our governors collected 600 uh, million as the pretty good. Is it not wise for the governor, the KB state, and other people to make sure that all those rice farmers, those areas, through to rice production, to provide drones, the critic drones for them, so that they use it to monitor what is happening within that environment, to help us. So if you look at 600 million, it's uh, well. Presently, now it's a, it's a big money. At least use part of the at least each month, provide one drill for one of those areas where they have rice production. So we use it as a security network for them. It will help us. I want a situation whereby us, each local government, will go and tap their natural resources and stop depending on federal government. If the, local, the local government will tap their natural resources, I bet you don't need to depend on the federal government. Revenue, but with increasing daily, it will. And issue of scholarship and exam fee to students. Government should think why, at least when you pay for SLC, still pay for the exam fee money. Good morning. Oh, well, good morning, uh, Mazi Okorafo. Our friend Mazi Okorafo, he cannot but include education whenever he contributes. Uh, here you are, you're the Commissioner of Information. Uh, maybe you'll also be able to touch on that because I know you have another colleague. Whose specialization that is? Yeah, you see, uh, in the uh, uh, in the case of Kebi, uh, you know, as a people, as a state, endowed with all a state, all a, a society required in order to live above board, God has endowed Kebi with it. Uh, we have the, as I said, the manpower, the youth. We have the arable land. We have the rivers. Uh, if Kebi were to be an independent country. It's going to make, become a very successful country. We, 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 I have only one comment with the right leadership. With the right leadership, Kenya can become a fully successful. If we are to be in Asia, it will have been one of the Asian tigers. Because let me tell you, everything required to make a country great are available in Kenya State. Everything. What has endowed us with the land, with the rivers, with the rainfall, with the people to make a success out of this country. Uh, leadership is very important, very, very bad at all levels, at the federal level, at the state level, at the local level. When there is synergy in leadership, it's the, 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 the plan, whatever is required for people to, 
to, to, to I mean, for people to be to use in order to uh, make that particular place great. Leadership provides that. So, Alhamdulillah, as I said earlier, we have a governor that will key into that. I'm sure he has lieutenants around him, people that uh, I mean has invited to help him with uh, with the with the Tinibu uh, Tinibu uh, Tinibu as as president. Uh, I think I think we will reach to that stage. We are just starting. Just four months old. This government, uh, a government came into office uh, with the nature of problems we have with the, with the with the with the implications of those problems. I think we need more time, maybe a or two, for them to sit down, to deal with this insolvency problem, and then we'll now begin to come up with policies and programs that will set this country on the path of recovery, on the path of growth, on the path of sustainable uh, uh, living, good living standard for the people. Okay. Uh, Chidi is also on the line from Kafanchan. Uh, good morning to you, Chidi. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Thank you, sir, for calling in. Good morning, the Honorable Commissioner for Information, KB State, for coming to the Good studio morning, this morning. Good morning, my brother. I am impressed in what, over what you have said concerning the security situation in KB State and the efforts the government at hand are doing in order to curtail this insecure situation. Uncle Yori, we have been talking about insecurity. It is almost taking over, all over this our great country. And Nigeria is not known to be an insecure country. Therefore, in my own humble submission, I wish to candidly call on the government and the, every stakeholder from the local to the state, from the state to the federal government, so that they can work synergically to do that which is necessary and important in order to bring the much needed security. Because security for one is security for all. And insecurity for one is also insecurity for all. We cannot grow in a situation where our lives and property are quite insecure. Therefore, I plead with the Tinubu-led administration to lay much more emphasis on providing security to the Nigerian people. Thank you very much, and God bless Nigeria. Well, thank you very much, uh, Comrade Chidi, for calling in from Kafanchan. Uh, uh, did you want to comment on anything uh, that he said? Because really, yeah. it was kudos again. It was kudos for the clarity of your thought and also for sharing uh, your efforts uh, over there, thereby empowering us with knowledge, which he has now said it now occurs to him that perhaps a lot more you know, uh, assistance can come from government and to other states so that uh, we could deal with this problem uh, comprehensively. I'll still, I'll still go back to the issue I addressed uh, a moment ago, that this is a new, there are new governors across the country who have a new president. Uh, I want to believe that the governors in the Northwest, especially, are beginning to take very radical measures, very, very radical. What the governor in the United States did it's a radical decision. He's, 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 he's mobilizing youth, youth sourced from the areas of, 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 of attacks. And uh, if they are well organized, if they are given the right training, if they are supported, if uh, measures are taken in order for them not to go out of their mandate, I think this is the way to go. The states in the Northwest, in the, everywhere we have problems in the Northwest, especially and banditry, banditry. I think the, the, the way to, deal, to go about dealing with it is the way the people, I mean, the governors in the Northwest are doing now already. I mean, involve the people in security uh, issues in your states. And I think if every state, at the end of the day, excluding KB, in KB, we require young men and women to get involved. But since we are getting this right now, we seem to be getting this right now, the 400 youth, 450 also youth, I told you, are already, are, have been mobilized already, that are going, and are going training in KB State. It's something I shouldn't have mentioned, but because I want to reassure our people that we are doing something too. But other than that, in KB State, the measures the government is taking, has already taken, are working. So I think uh, the, the other states where the problem seems not to be getting solved, it's in a 
Sokoto and Zafara, perhaps and, and Kaduna. I think if 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 all the governors, if all the people are involved, all the stakeholders. In fact, if you leave it to me, I will suggest that we have a security summit of Northwest. Okay. Security summit. Okay. All right. Get in, in, in the, in the, in the uh, uh, Excuse me, where all Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, I beg your pardon, uh, Mr. Commissioner, but um, Follow Nusho has also called in from uh, Minna in Niger State, and I didn't want to lose him. Okay, okay. Good morning. Okay, okay. Follow Nusho in Minna. Good morning. Sorry to interrupt you. I beg your pardon, Mr. Commissioner, but Follow has also called in from Minna. Follow Nusho, if you can hear us, please start speaking. Good morning, follow Nusho in Minna. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Good morning, sir. Go ahead, please. Yeah, how are you? Thank you very much for yeah, calling in. Please, yeah, I'm interested in your topic. Okay. I can, yes, I can, I can hear you. Yeah, I'm interested in this topic, in this topic because I'm used to... So, I can, uh, because I'm used to KG states. Then, uh, according, to, according to the commissioner, the KB states are very, very okay on rice farming. Because KB state is a, is a place that is good for rice and uh, agri uh, value chains. And again, KB state, as the commissioner has rightly said, KB state is a place that uh, is secured in terms of security because I'm used to that place during those times. But now, this, this insurgency has made it to be very uh, somehow. But now, according to the commissioner, the issue of rice planting, I know the Labana rice plant, I know that they have a good rice, and the other rice coming up around the express along the Arugungu side. So, for God, the, the the what, the what I mean, the it's clear to now that the state governor has taken step to 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 attend to. I think it's a very welcome idea, and again, it will help us in Nigeria as regarding our food security. So I really appreciate the commissioner and the governor of the state, so that this kind of a, a synergy should be should be should, should be adopted within the state around Kenya State because. Indeed. All right, thank you very much. Follow on show calling in from uh, Mina there in Niger State. Now, Mr. Commissioner, as the time is fast counting down, I did want to get to the other arm to your title. You're Commissioner for Information and uh, Culture. Uh, give us a little something. Uh, what does the culture function entail? Uh, there must be something that you want to highlight uh, about the culture. Of the people yeah, there are things yeah. I want to highlight about culture and chemistry. Number one, we just returned yesterday from a, a, an art exhibition called Arugungu Series 9 Art Exhibition in Lagos, Monica National Museum. We just returned yesterday. We went with our virtual troops. The Arugungu, uh, we, that's, it, that's a world famous uh, event, isn't it? It's a world exactly, famous Arugungu, cultural event. Arugungu Fisher and Cultural Festival. We have four specific cultural festivals. We have quite a number of cultural festivals, cultural activities in KBC. But uh, four stand out. And uh, Arugungu, uh, because of the, uh, of the popularity, because it's happening in the past every year, tend to be known widely by most people. But in KBC, KBC is very, very rich in culture. Where, where you have excellent uh, environment, excellent, excellent agricultural activities, you are bound to have excellent cultures. Uh, we have Uhola culture in Zuru. It's very, very popular as well. We have Regatta, also in the riverine area of Yauri, Emirates. We have the Arugungu Fishing Festival, which you know. We also have Otunga uh, uh, cultural activity in the Zuru local government area of Abandu uh, Emirates. As you know, we also have very big uh, attitude of horse racing in Binikebi, the capital of Kebi State, which is under Bondu Emirate. We have a number of agricultural uh, shows. We have, we are rich in culture. And uh, as uh, one thing I wanted to even mention is that we are already talking with the Taiwanese government that made offers to us to have cultural exchanges with them. And I'm working on that already. As I said earlier, I will return yesterday from Lagos to attend uh, 
Ekata show there and at, 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 at exhibition. So by our life, we are going to leverage on the goodwill we generated from that at exhibition. We are going to, because, you know, when our governor, Dr. Nassim Tala was campaigning, vegetarian campaign activities around this, one of the cardinal promises he made to was he was he would, he would promote culture. And the approval he gave us to go to uh, Lagos to attend that uh, cultural show was part of the fulfillment of that promise he made. And I'm sure we'll still have quite a number of shows to, to show to Nigerians. Uh, we intend to collaborate with others in order to move forward in the field of art and, 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 and culture. And of course, this brings uh, in its wake tourism as well. Uh, no matter, I mean, we, we've been talking about very, very serious yeah, wherever, stuff. Wherever, so, wherever, you promote, wherever you promote culture and uh, culture and art, obviously, the next thing is for tourism to blossom. And we intend to leverage on that too. Well, I, I just want to thank you now, um, Alaji. Alaji Yakubu Ahmed, Honorable Commissioner for Information and Culture in uh, Kebbi State. Uh, in the past almost one hour, it's been gripping stuff. Uh, as is attested to by the calls that have come in, uh, people, I think, are a bit wiser uh, about um, goings on in, in, in Kebi from the point of view of advances in security and also the cultural endowment of the country. I want to thank you once more for coming on the program. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure being here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, then. Okay, so um, that's our program today, then. Uh, please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I am Yori Folare. Bye-bye for now.